what the hell is going on here? Is that really Jean-Claude Van Damme? The man of the mans in all his glory. <laughs> but as naked. How the hell did you end up here in this crazy ass world called Rimworld? And of all the crazy good ass companions we got, you decided to bring the stone old grandpa with you? Oh man, you're taking your little survival trip quite serious here in the world of Rimworld. For all of you who have never heard about Rimworld, Rimworld is a game where you have some people crash landing on an unknown planet. You gotta have to harvest, build and fight. In other words, just survive. To maybe someday be able to build a spaceship from scratch on your own and leave this planet for good. Go back home or something like that. And this mode I've chosen is especially hard. Cause we got absolutely nothing but our hairy ass butt cheeks. So we start out this journey from complete zero. But guys, this will be fun. I guarantee it. Especially with Van Damme. <laughs> I think we got a pretty cool starting point here. This map looks crazy. We are near some mountains. We should use this to our advantage. Start building our base right next to it or maybe inside of it. That would be a good approach. Oh, look, some sort of abandoned structure. We can use that as our very first hideout. Just to make clear guys, I've used the mod prepare carefully to adjust the guy's stats a bit. But don't worry, I've not overdone it for the sake of reality. And that's the only mod I'm using for now. We want to keep all of this fair and simple. Oh, look how fast those guys are. We already got a place to live in. Nothing beats a place where you can sleep with a roof over your head. But why did it get so foggy all of the sudden? Sensei can't see shit now with his old eyes. Van Damme is an excellent wood chopper. He chops down those trees with nothing more but his manliness. I mean his strong ass manly arms, not the thing that makes him a man. Since food plays an extremely important role in the early stages of the game, we should make it our first main task to establish a good and reliable food income. I thought we'll plant some potatoes here, those are very nutritious and can be kept fresh for a long time. I've also found some wild berries, until the potatoes grow, we'll have to live off of that. There are some wild animals around here too, but guys, you know Van Damme, he could never harm an animal. He got the soft spot for nature and all of the living things within it. Sensei on the other hand, he'd fuck that shit up. He'd even kill just for the fun. But for the sake of Van Damme, he is currently also a friend of animals now. <laughs> oh man, how did I not see that? We got here some fertile soil. A perfect spot for growing plants. <sighs> we'll plant some stuff here too. You can never have enough food in, our, in a situation like ours right now. I think rice might be also very tasty. I see, we are starting to get somewhere. Still, Van Damme and Sensei are not ecstatic about this current situation of being naked. We got some unhappy nudity going on around here. It would have been okay for Mr. Van Damme being naked out here all by himself, but I mean seeing that stone old grandpa always bending over right in front of Mr. Van Damme Grabbing those juicy berries is quite a scary sight to behold. We need some sort of materials first before we can start out to craft us some clothing. Materials like leather or sheep wool would be good. But that's for the next day. Guys, first day's over. I think we did alright. You've earned it. Good night boys. I didn't notice right away, but the area we've built our base in right now is even more awesome than I first thought. We're getting some incredible protection from that interesting rock formation here. This lets us with two main entryways to get inside of our base main area. We should definitely use that to our advantage. I think we'll seal those two entryways up with some wooden walls. Well, but not completely. We're going to let open a passageway. A small little passageway. We're gonna put up some traps there. This way we will be prepared for any kind of upcoming threat. Yes, this looks good. Now we have an east gate and a west gate. Also, I don't wanna spoil you guys too much, but this type of construction here was originally used by the Siberian Chukchis. A narrow pathway with a lot of wooden traps in it. The enemy will squeeze their way through this gap and while they're busy reaching the end of that tunnel, those wooden traps will spank their asses wound until they're dead. Well, 
at least that's the plan. We'll see how it really gonna turn out after the first wave. Oh, Van Damme's trying to tame some of those bugs by feeding them some berries. Amazing. But don't hold those berries too close to your wiener or else the strip's over before it even started. Look at uh, the logs. They're trying to tell us something. Van Damme tried to tame the bug. The bug refused. Oh man, that's a bugger. Tame failed with a chance of 17%. Damn. Maybe we'll have some more luck with those donkeys here. Let's go Van Damme. Show them some love. Van Damme firmly yet softly touches the donkey. Nice one Mr. Van Damme. That's the right way to do it. The donkey refused. Man, those animals are quite hard to tame. Don't let yourself down Mr. Van Damme. We'll get them next time. For now let's try to get us some more berries and uh, wood. Using wood as a material for the construction of those walls ain't the best option for defense, I know. But for now that's the best we can do. As long as those enemies take the narrow path with those traps inside, we're good to go. Okay now, we should start to expand our base a little bit more. Build some more rooms for storage and stuff like privacy for those two boys. <laughs> Feels weird man, sleeping next to each other in the same room, but as naked. The protective walls are up, nice, feels so much safer now. Whoa, what the hell was that? It hasn't even been a minute since we finished those walls. <laughs> the, uh, there's a freaking dead boom rat in our trap. I guess it went in and blew up. Guys, put out the goddamn fire. How did that thing get in there anyway? I can't believe this shit is possible. At least the damage ain't that bad. Van Damme and Sensei put out the fire just in time. Oh, okay. I guess now it's the perfect time to decide on how we should name our faction. Nice job Van Damme. Man, that red just gave me a heart attack. Whew. How about we do some more animal taming to calm down a bit. Here, give it another try with that goddamn donkey Mr. Van Damme. Yo, it worked! Van Damme managed to tame that piece of shit. It is now called Donkey One. You sir are quite creative. I'll give you that Mr. Van Damme. That's so cool, our very first animal. But what can it do? <laughs> what do donkeys typically do? Do they give milk? Do they have some kind of wool? Do they lay eggs? They can't do any of that. Why in God's name did you decide to tame a donkey Van Damme? <laughs> It's useless. Well, whatever. We're still gonna love you. Van Damme's gonna love you, kid. Is that for real? The donkey we just tamed got the plague. <laughs> what is this bullshit? How? Sensei is gonna treat that donkey as good as he can. But he's no expert. So guys, don't get too attached to that donkey. It could kick the bucket anytime. Holy shit, the rice is ready for harvest already. Boys, that fertile soil is way too OP. The potatoes haven't even reached 50% of their growth, while the rice is all ready to eat. So from now on there will be no need for those stupid ass berries anymore. Great, but we need way much more if we want to manage to survive through winter. So let's go boys. Uh, a group of pirates from the hyena men have arrived nearby. Oh man. <laughs> Don't worry guys, must be a low level stray with a club or something like that. Holy hell, man! That guy got a goddamn Uzi. That's a female scavenger equipped with a freaking machine pistol. That's our first enemy? You gotta be kidding. She's preparing for an attack on our base. We have to act quickly now. We got our traps all set up. Now we'll just have to hope she'll use that narrow pathway so she can get her ass back. One dumps equipped with a wooden club. He will wait on the other end of that tunnel. If the traps won't kill her, hopefully one dumb will do. Where is Sensei? I gave him a wooden bow. We could position him somewhere near the entrance too. For fuck's sake, Sensei, what did you eat to get yourself some food poisoning? That's the worst time ever to get that kind of shit now. Oh man! Okay, the scavenger is on the move. Guys, get ready. Van Damme is ready. I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Okay, I guess we did it. The scavenger is no more. Wait, she's still alive. Maybe we can rescue her. I mean, imprison her. 
and then maybe enslave her. Maybe she'll even be willing to join our crew. Oh man, that's so exciting. But that's it for this episode guys. Hope you liked this little adventure into the world of RimWorld. Leave a like, subscribe and share this video for more content to come. And as always, a big shout out goes out to all those crazy ass Patreon supporter out there. You guys are simply the best. Thank you. Hope I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.